I'm Brent Stigeon. Yo, box truck. Thanks for the follow, buddy. The final boss is going to be Temperance, uh, Seraph the Temperance, which is going to sap our units. We just saw that. But as you notice, sap doesn't do that much to a guy that has 150 base attack damage, right? Apply damage shield 1. Add 2 uncommon or rare morsel units to your hand. This is kind of expensive early, but Grobble is kind of nice. Add 2 spell weakness to an enemy unit. And then we got Caven. Just send friendly units and enemy units on this floor. So Caven is going to allow us to do some overstacking stuff. So, because I have Kaven, I'm kind of wanting to do Monstrous again, because Kaven and Monstrous go really well together. Okay, well, Advanced Protop is very good early. Train Stewards gain Damage Shield 2 and Multi Strike 1. That's really, really good early. Yo, Twitch, uh, Laga, this is Twitch Prime. Six months, by the way. Hey, welcome back, man. Third sub of the day. So this is like the difference between early game and late game, right? So this is really good early. So all your train stewards are like big, crazy dudes early on. But this is good late game. When you play your third card of the turn, you draw two. Ah, this is tough. Like, Wingstail is very good. I'm going to want it later on. But let's go for the advanced prototype so we can get strong early game and we take a lot of trials and do stuff like that, right? I, I want to try work Architect. But Architect is a little bit antithesis to the fact that I have Caven in my base deck, right? So when you summon, you add pips to that floor. So when you keep upgrading this, it's going to get more and more pips on that floor. That floor is going to be huge. So to be honest, because I have Caven and I can overstack, I want to do Penumbra with Gorge and make him really big. Let's make him a big glutton. But by having summon, I can put more train stewards on that floor and do stuff like that, right? Non by enemy units, enter with spikes 3. Well, can I afford to do spikes 3 here? Even with my big, beefy train stewards. Yeah, I can. Let's do it. We'll do some glutton with a lot of martial makers. That's going to be nuts. I'm making glutton. Um, what? I guess it doesn't matter if I put it like here, right? Let me put this guy in the back. And, uh... You can put Spell Weakness in here and then Frozen Lance in. And now it's in GG. And I can't overstack at the moment, so just wait. Uh, minor, minor bosses. I think it says minor bosses for Century 4 is, uh... Minor bosses have increased strength. Put a guy right here. Um, so I want to put, check this out, I want to do cave in. So I want to do like morsels here and then cave in, but. Uh, this is tough. Because I actually had no space to put. I gotta add damage shield. And then I'm not even playing. So I'll just scale up this guy. Might as well. I think this, this guy really big. Add spell weakness so when we get like a, a spell, we can kill that guy later on. Let's add, uh, let's do damage on this guy, that guy's dead. Let's add a train sword here. And, I mean, this guy's not gonna live. Protect the bone shaker. That guy doesn't even live one turn, unfortunately. I think my train swords could do it though. Make this guy really big. And Penumbra doesn't get to do anything there. Alright, we're doing some damage. I want to scale up this guy. If I cave in now, is it best to cave in now? Is it best to cave this in now? What do you guys think? Does that just win? 
I guess I can do the math, right? Um... I think power damage from that though. It could have gone perfect. Nice. Maybe I should just done it. Maybe I should have saved life for my pyro. Oh, it's okay though. Three damage is nothing. Add a morsel minor to your hand. I like morsel minor. This guy's good, man. He adds five five. That's really good for my multi strikers. Because we do have more multi strikers right now. Let's do it. Um, draw one, discard one. Titan's Tooth or Titan's Gratitude. Titan's Gratitude goes well with Spell Weakness, right? Because we have Spell Weakness, it doubles damage. I'm going to just Titan's Gratitude, a one of. Although the ability to draw one, discard one could be quite useful as well. Add an Umber unit. I want to find a Morsel Maker because we have... We have the... Um, Gorge ability. So my goal is to find a morsel Mako here. And we found it. And now we're gonna make a penumbra huge. We can give a unit quick. That's very strong. Who would want quick though in my deck? I don't really have anybody that wants quick. Like morsel maker being quick, it doesn't make any sense, right? You can't give it to a, I can give it to a, a, a steward, but upgrading a steward is like, a, that's a joke. I can make this guy a little bit stronger. So he stays alive longer. He has more life, perhaps. Slay this fire, save the pyre. Exactly, Kat. Come to me, Batsu. One second. I mean, upgrading my steward, guys, you think it's... I mean, just for early game. <laughs> Giving him quick as well, that's just like a meme, no? Because like late game, that, 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 no, no. Oh, we remove. <laughs> Do we want all these frozen lances? What if you get the... I want like some like negative cost ones. Let's do it. The minor brushes have more strength. But now I don't have space to like actually scale up my uh I want to scale up my penumbra, but I can't. I can do it in this floor. So now he's gonna scale up here. Look at that. It's starting. This guy has damage shield, right? So he can take two hits and then and he's fine. I can kill one of them, save him a little bit of life. So I want this guy to lay up again, so uh, I'm gonna give him another train sword right here. Pink up two hits. And I'm gonna give my penumbra uh I wanna do grapple actually. The problem is I wanna be able to kill this but I can't. I'm missing 50 gold, that's really bad. Losing 50 gold there is terrible. Means we can attack first in combat. Well, we didn't get our 50 gold. RP. So that's, that's the important to have like little pingers, like Torch or like Antibra, the one that does like some damage. That's it's quite nice. So we want to kill that guy. Can get my guy damage shield. Now he stays alive. And we'll scale up this dude. 
and we have a stranger we can't play right now. Hmm. Yeah, Quick is a very powerful upgrade on the right units. Especially like Slate. Quick, quick on the Slate unit. Very powerful. Oh, we already won. GG, boys. You want to do something crazy? Check this out. Why is he dying? Oh, because he has spikes. Quick on swipe. I, I, so what I used to do is like I have a big awoken hollow like sweeper and I get quick on him so he just like AoE sweep before everybody can even attack. It's very powerful. So that's what I was talking about. Like, so, oh, mind collapse. Like, the ability to kill back units. I think I take a mind collapse here. Um, so I can like ping things in the back and I, I can kill things that need to die. I, I like this a lot. Mind collapse is pretty good. Same thing for like flash freeze, but I don't want to add a flash freeze to my deck. But it's the same concept, like a little pinger that can kill something in the back. That you'd be surprised how often that actually helps. The ability to do like three plus five frostbite or something is quite nice. But I just added a mind collapse. Maybe I don't need the flash freeze. Umber salt is good too. It does the same thing, but it gives you morsels. I like mind collapse because it helps you do energy stuff. Frostbite is poison. Yep. What's wrong, Isaac? Artifacts, Stygian Unit, and Concealed Caverns versus Upgraded and Heal. Let's go get for the Artifact here. Apply Spell Wakeness to the enemy units when they enter the room before, uh, below the Pyre Room. Apply Daze to enemy units when they enter the Pyre Room. Your Pyre gets minus 5 strength. Um, so this gives my Pyre the chance to... Not take as much damage. Because they get dazed. That could be useful. But this adds, this is right below the pyro room, and maybe I can take advantage of the spell weakness here. I mean, getting minus five damage on my pyro, how useful is that? How, how detrimental is that? Not too bad, right? That would probably save me life in the long run. So, in Cant, whenever you play a spell, this scales up, or a sweeper that does spell weakness. So, this is a sweeper. Do I want any of these? I might want to skip. I mean, how do I value a sweeper? I mean, I think AoE is pretty important. So it does something I don't have. My dog's crying. Give me a sec. Encant is um, when you cast a spell, it scales up. Um, spell, I see the thing is, I don't know if, spell weakness doesn't really go well with Umbra, because spell weakness is like, I guess mind collapse. I'll do a, I'll do a sweeper, just, I, I like the sweep effect. I don't know how much I'm going to use that though. I, I, that might have been a skip. Apply rage armor, draw X, enhance all cards drawn this way with negative two, so you get a lot of card draw. And then you everything becomes cheaper. How useful is that? That allows me to play like a lot of grovels or whatever. I need more pip space to play the grovels. If I take the Awoken's Rail, then I can probably go for like pip space as opposed to like Ember from the next boss. And I can play more stuff. And it's enhanced for the rest of the battle. So I actually like this a lot. I'm gonna do the Awoken. The sweeper is kind of bad in my opinion as well. I took it just because it's like a one cost sweeper, but yeah, I think it's just a lot of skip. I should have just skipped there. It doesn't really go well with my deck. Let's see how detrimental it is. Timeless, uh, I've been playing since close, better hope you love and we see some YouTube videos. Absolutely. Yep, I posted a YouTube video today of the introduction and we're going to start posting the uh, Super Row wins. We have our combo already. Kill this guy right here. Put this guy on top. Beautiful. Now he's scaling. I can't wait to get this guy gorged up. I took the, the, the regular sweeper. It wasn't awoken, it was the spell weakness, which doesn't really go that well with my deck. But we can kill things in the back like that, right? And we, can, we can cave it in now and put it in the back. 
Yeah, we can probably cave it in now. Maybe that's better. Or we can gravel. I think we cave in now. And we can have spot probably just coming in early. Now we have this going on, right? We can kill like, all the things in the back. And there's nothing really to, to do offering token on, so let's go ahead and do that. And now we have like a little AoE sweeper in the back, which says so we can show if they if they happen to get past the next floor, we can maybe start killing them. It gets probably just in the boss too. What's nice about this is that it gets probably just in the boss. Adding a morsel miner. Let's add a morsel miner for the guy at the top. Let's scale him up a little bit. Um, these guys do four damage. Let's go ahead and keep adding spell weakness to the boss. So the boss doesn't lose spell weakness. So what that means is when I see the boss, I can hit him with like a Titan's Gratitude and do like 200 damage to his face. So we're gonna keep stacking up on him. This guy's about to die to the bomb. So if I do a Woken Spike, I can save some. So what I want to do first is um, get the damage shield. And then I want to do a Woken Rail Spike. And these cards are now free. Now that's kind of bad that it hit on a unit that only plays it. The fact that it's free doesn't mean that much. And to be honest, the Woken Wheel Spike wasn't that great in that situation. Also, I meant to put that guy behind because this is my bigger dude, but okay, it is what it is. I gotta get a heal on my big Penumbra. He's dying. Keep adding spell to the boss, but also the bomb's about to kill me, so I can do damage shield, keep him alive. And give the guy some scaling, some scaling over here. And let's do some more self weakness. Now we can cave in right now if we wanted to. Cave in the bottom floor, right? You can only have seven though, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't do cave in, right? Because if I do cave in, um, what happens if you, if you go past seven units? The unit won't go. What happens? Because I can't have more than seven. I already have five. Does anybody know? I guess we can try it out. See what happens. We'll try going past. I'm going to try it out. So some of them just won't go, I guess. All right, so that guy doesn't go. Holy shit. Look at this lane. Did you need banner and get us reward? I can draft the unit. Lots of sound effects. Lots of motion. We got furnished tap. So we can give our guy multi-strike. This time he doesn't have the big ass 
health pool like he did last time. But he still gets multi-strike. Let's do it. Ember Drain, we're going to have to figure out a way to, around that. Crucible Ward in. So we can get the damage shield thing going. Or get life steal. Let's do the Warden. So now we got to make a decision. Um, get some energy or some more pip space. Well, we, since we were doing caving, we're kind of manipulating pip space. So I think... If I do Light of Seraph, I could do like three units in the top. If I do card draw, I think I do Fels and Mars because by Fels and Mars I can make my my thing, what's it called? What's that thing that I have? The shard? This right here. The Woken Rail Spike could draw more cards and make more cards cheaper. So which actually gives you more even more energy. We can upgrade our spells, or we could duplicate and remove. Well, let's think. What would we duplicate? Will we, will we duplicate Awoken's Real Spike? So if we just keep doing Awoken's Real Spike, we can make our deck pretty cheap. It's kind of slow tempo. We can also make double Morsel Makers. We can duplicate that. And now we can have a Scaler in the top lane as well. This game's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. We can have a Morsel Maker to scale the top. Or we can do a duplication on maybe something like Furnace Tap. So we can do crazy amount of multi attacks Let's go remove first. When do I start removing these stewards though? Like... I should start removing the stewards at some point, yeah? Double furnace staff. We're gonna... <laughs> Ember Drain is going to be interesting. I, I wish I upgraded that card before I upgraded it, but... Alright, Gorge, Gorge, Gorge. He gets 6 strength and 6 health whenever he eats, so let's Gorge, Gorge, Gorge. So if I did double Morsel Maker, what I could do is this, guys. I can make Morsel Maker, Morsel Maker, and then just cave them down. And then I can have 2 Morsel Makers on my Penumbra. And he's just getting so much Gorging per turn. So maybe that was better to do a second Morsel Maker for that reason. Ember Drain makes you lose energy... Two energy per stack, but it decays. Or is it like one energy per stack? Um, okay, so we get a random artifact, but they heal when they move up a floor, and their health is five and five. How dangerous is this? Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Like, if I do double double the Morsel Makers, you cave them down, and then it's just, like, huge, huge for number scaling. Okay. Uh, how dangerous is it that if they move, if they, if they restore our health and then move up the floor? Why doesn't it show me the other tanker units that they have? I want to see the other tanker units they have. That's messed up. It's it's gonna be hard, right? But we have multi strikers. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill everything. But if it has no life but like a lot of armor, then I can get through the armor. The armor doesn't rejuvenate. So the armor doesn't rejuvenate. Uh, let's do it. Only has ten health max. More, we're getting a more maker first turn every time. That's crazy. What if we just do like Furnace Up right away? The problem doing Furnace Up right away is that uh, I'm gonna have no energy for the next couple turns. E. Let's do it. Look at that. He's already huge. He's already huge. No. 
Because then they play transfer and I'm just 75 gold. Oh no, it's 90 health. Wait, that's a problem. That guy's gonna live. But I also couldn't kill that thing. Well, I need energy because this guy didn't die. If I had energy, I could kill this thing. I mean, not, not even necessarily, to be honest. Okay. Well. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. He's even gonna live. I'm gonna some gold there. I barely lived, too. That's tragic. These guys are not gonna live, though. Let's put these guys in the top. He's huge. He's really big. Should have mind collapse, whoopsies. It doesn't matter for their days, so. For, I get an artifact, so I get an artifact for like that much life, it's totally fine. We want to do cave-in, we didn't get to do cave-in. Double furnace tap? Wait. Wait, are we doing it? Damage shield then double furnace tap? Okay, holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, 100 times 3. GG. Well, this gorgeous is gonna be nuts. Okay. Pyro wall. Nice. My enemy, my pirate shows a 15 armor, armoring to battle. Oh, I like Ember Cash because it gives me the ability to gain energy and draw. The Crucible extension is cool, but we're doing, I think Ember Cash is a little bit better here. I think Ember Cash is a little bit better here. Helps me against Ember Drain. Apply Frostbite to all. Uh, enemy units when you play a spell. Apply Daze. Daze is really good. Applying Daze is quite nice. It's a pretty good spell. Work some bosses. Okay, we can duplicate again. Did we do three furnace taps? How crazy is that? Oh, I mean, as long as we have more to make her out, we just do furnace tap all day. I don't know. I'm not going to have energy. Let's do it. For memes. Upgrading spells would be nice though. Okay. This is, this is a hard one for me. Oh, I didn't get my dude. I just got a top. Motion maker here. I want to do motion maker in the bottom. Um, but first, I want this guy not to die. How can I make this guy not die? Cave in. She's gonna stay alive again. Fuck. Cave in doesn't even help me, does it? I guess I just lose my crucible warden. That's fine. Also, if I do. 
This girl, she doesn't even stay alive. I can cave in down here. Hmm. We well, have to get more smoke in the back, first and foremost. Yeah, if my champion dies, I basically lose absolutely. Okay. Uh let's go. <laughs> I'm not gonna have energy for the next for the next thousand turns, but we're scaling, so. Took away my scaling, I'm so mad about that. Stupid sweeper. Oh my god, he's getting big. Ember cash, we need that. With Ember siphon, that uh, doesn't even matter. Oh no, I don't win. I don't win. Wait. No. Fuck, I can't even post my... My transfers can do this. I think my transfers can get finished off. Look at this big awakens wheel. Are we doing it? We, we we can't draw more than ten cards, right? So we do this on top, and uh, you can't draw too many cards. So then we do. And then we do awakens wheel now, and now things are crazy. Um, we can do this. And apply days to the unit, so let's do I'm gonna apply days to the unit. We're gonna cave in. I'm gonna add a damage shield. I should have done immortals first, I just fucked up. I should have done first. Anyway, he should die. He's gonna die to the pyre. It's game over. <laughs> My morsel. <laughs> Dash the fire here. Okay. Apply trample. If I apply trample to my penumbra, oh, that's nuts. So this is like an all-in kind of thing, though. Applying frost. I need. I need AOE stuff like that. I need that because there's so many times where I can't get like the little lady in the back. Trample means damage. Excess damage goes through to the next unit. It keeps doing it. So we can upgrade. We get trinkets and an artifact, or we can upgrade our units. Let's go get. And we also remove two cards. What cards do we remove? At this point, we're probably removing like uh, some of these stewards. No, let's go ahead and get some trinkets. Plus two in the middle floor. Position to remove all buffs on an enemy unit. So what's better here? Do we want to do middle floor? So if we do middle floor, we can set up there. And then we can descend down. Right? So we can set up and send down. Or we can do... Uh, remove... I think... Remove, remove buffs, honestly. Let me see what we got here. 
Return to that as blast buff weakness. Okay, gain energy in the first round of battle. That could be okay. X plus cards get plus three when they're X. That's really good. That means I complete my rail no matter what, even if I'm like screwed up and my mind collapse as well. I like it. I like it a lot. My first round of battle, I get seven energy. Um, I don't know how good that is. You say no enemies have have buffs. Apply to enemies when it enters the room right before. Uh, when you play a spell, spells that cost less reduce to zero for the turn or talisman. So if I play Grovel, anything cheaper. Uh, I mean, Anvil is good if you get card draw. The talisman, I don't know how good that really is. Not that great. I don't have that much card draw, and. The problem is I'm I'm kind of uh I'm kind of gated by not only card draw in this situation, but I'm also gated by the fact that I often don't have enough space to even play more pips or more morsels, you know. Two lights gifts. <laughs> split anvil, I'm trying to see how good, good split split anvil is. My top floor is going to be very important now, because my top floor now, they get dazed, so I can, I can get like a free extra turn to kill him, or like a, an easier time to kill him. Split level doesn't seem like it's that good for me, but it could become better later on maybe. I might just pass. Aim those sort of like my open hands, sort of. Give my Grift of Gratitude, that's really good because I have X cost cards. So we're taking gift, gift of gratitude. We're honest, man. One second. Okay, my bad, guys. My bad. I had to walk the dogs. Took a little longer than usual. All right. Take care, SA driver. Take care, man. Okay. So, Alabaster Guardians and spell, uh, have shell, Spell Shield 5. They can block 5 spells. So, I'm thinking... I think maybe I set up in the top lane because... I have the ability to daze the enemies when they reach the top with Light's Gift. So I'm thinking, what if I just like set up... Because here's the thing, with Furnace Tap... With Furnace Tap, I'm, I'm gonna have like no energy for some time. So if I do Furnace Tap now, it's a little bit of not that great. I, should, I shouldn't do the first Furnace Tap now, I don't think. But at the same time, if I get it out of the way, then it's whatever. But the problem with that is... Then I can't pay my, my Maker. I, I think... Until my maker is out, stacking up the, on the penumbra, I should not put furnace on penumbra until the maker is out. So that's my philosophy. Secondly, I feel like if I set up on the top lane, well then that's like my last. It's like almost like the bottom floor is my last resort, anyways, right? Because if the boss gets past penumbra, then it's kind of unfortunate. So I think setting up top floor makes the most sense because of the daze mechanic. And if I am doing furnace tap, at least I can buy some time with the daze. Because the deficit of de furnace tap is not as bad there. So I'm going to set up over here a little bit. Put over here. And I know that furnace tap is pretty good, but we have multiple on the deck. Let's wait for the maker first. But not everything won't be dead right away because he's not gorging. And so he gorges, he's not actually killing everything. A lot of things are going to die here. So we got the Morsel Maker. So now we need to do Furnace, uh, furnace Tap because we got the Morsel Maker. I could try to keep this guy alive with a... Um... I'm trying to keep him alive here. He gets armor. He... I keep him alive. 
Not too bad. And let's gorge up this guy, because this guy gets damage shield, so let's give him some, uh, some health as well. Give him a damage shield. That means I didn't make the minor, which is pretty good, but in general, I should make the minor cheaper. He only has 15 health damage, whenever he eats, he gets 6-6, six, six, so he gets pretty big pretty quickly. Just gotta give him some time. So we can go ahead and put Frostbite on these enemies over here, so they start dying. And now we can give my my guy trample. Boom. We can give these guys spell weakness, so when they come to the bottom, they get spell weakness. We could add a little bit of training sword to start doing some more damage. Now, the one problem of doing what I'm doing in terms of stacking on the top floor is that I can't do cave in right away and, and overstack the bottom floor. But what I can do is I can do cave in on the top floor and bring them down. But before I was doing some cave in stuff. The fact is that they, they get days and then days. It's kind of incredible. It's 210 gold I can just get right now. So these guys are all going to die. I don't think I can try to save them. I think it's not worth it to save them. So I think we either go for 210 gold and let it be, or we just play Furnace Tap and grovel this guy. We can grovel this guy and keep him alive. It's probably worth it, right? We can't put it on top though. We can give him some more health. I can get 150 gold, but I really want to play Furnace Up at this point. I can get more out of Gift of Gratitude, so I'll, I'll keep it in my deck for now. So they're doing four, that guy's dead, and then they're doing uh, five. I mean, I can keep my girl alive like this. I can keep her alive for one more, one more round, I guess. Now we can start doing our furnaces though, because our guy is scaling up. Oh, I just because what we oh, can't even. We have more furnace taps. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do it, so we gotta play this. Can't do this furnace tap. But he's getting quite large. The fact that there are going to be days when they enter the top floor is quite incredible. So you can do Furnace now and then Awaken Rail Spike. So Awaken Rail Spike is actually quite nice for the situation. And that's 85 times 3. We do Rail Spike. So it's we draw 3 cards and minus 2 energy for wherever I draw. That includes Grovel and, and uh, Frozen Lance. Let's put Grovel on him. Why not? I think... I might as well try to save my... I might as well try to save... My guy. Um, but if I kill him, they all get plus five. So how do I save my guy? I guess I can't. I guess like I can't save my guy. Oh, he has spell shield, right? Oh, he had armor. I have these morsels I can't really play then. Unfortunate. This is so powerful. We can cave in now. The cave in is kind of not that great. Oh, I could do. Oh, I guess your guy is not that great here. Just keep adding spell weakness to the boss. And we just chill. Final wave. I buy, I buy more time for me to scale up. Oh, now I can play furnace. This guy's 122 times 4. And, uh. Might as well play this dude, right? Minus 
sure I'll get him out of my deck. My dude is massive. I have one more uh, furnace step in my deck. I gotta find it. This is a good time to just do this, right? 210. Or I could add damage shield to my dude. And I could do this in another fight, right? Or I could just take the 210 now. Let's do add a damage shield to him. There's two damage shields now. Let's give this guy some more strength in this 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 daze her. I did get early access, yes, I got early access. And we killed her. I actually I don't even take damage. I just <laughs> That's insane. And I also have like I said, I have another. I have another uh, frenzy in my deck. Oh no, I use all the frenzies. I already use all the frenzies. This guy's times four. I already use all the frenzies. 151 times four. Let's take a look. And then I have damage shield, and I just killed her. Boom. She was dazed, and then I had two damage shields. So I do. I just two shot her basically. In one turn, so they actually give you less score for doing one turn boss rushes because they think it's, I guess they think it's gimmicky. If you're too powerful with a unit, they're like, well, you killed it too quickly. Let's uh, give you, I don't know. Well, because I can use that card in another fight for more gold. But yeah, I'll do, I'll use it in the next fight for sure. So these are X cost cards, which are pretty good because I have uh, this thing that is called the first health pack, which gets X cost cards plus three. So, aka Chemical X, right? Kill a Morsel unit, trigger Eaten and Gorge. That's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Because I can use that and make my Penumbra get huge quickly because he has Gorge effects. Now, do I want more energy? To counteract Ember Drain a little bit, do I want more cards or do I want more pip space? I feel like energy to counteract Ember Drain and also get more out of my X class cards. The next upgrade on my Penumbra is going to be massive, and then I think we're just going to win off the back of Penumbra, right? So we get an artifact here, we can upgrade our units, or we can upgrade our spells and remove cards. So let's take a look. The Trinket Shop's at the end. What would we want to remove at this point? At this point, we don't want all of these uh, train stewards, right? So we can remove like maybe one of them. And then we probably want to remove like a Shade Splitter because I don't actually have space to put these morsels. So I think Shade Splitter is probably one of the worst cards in my deck at the moment. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do removal and upgrade some spells. I do think Shade Splitter is one of the worst cards in my deck right now. At least the transfers are okay. In fact, I think both of these traits should go, in my opinion. And let's see. So, card, a spell that wants permafrost is like. I think a spell that wants permafrost is like Frenzy Swarm. No, I don't know. Maybe. We could hold on to Furnace Apps when we're ready to use it, or we can do Shroud Spike when we're ready to do it. And then we can make Shroud Spike. Or maybe. Huh. Maybe it's just Furnace Tap when we're ready to use it. Maybe it is just that. Is it? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I don't have a full heal or anything like that. What would want to stay in my hand? Because maybe the days, like, just in case things get bad. Let's do days here. Let's make some stuff cheaper. I think Umberstone should be cheaper, because I'm, I'm always going to want to use that. Give something... Maybe this. I don't want to draw into this more than, more than once. Well, actually, I don't mind this. I don't want to run into this more than once. Um, I want to purge some of these stewards. I'm gonna wait though. All right, let's get the upgrade. Oh my god! Every time he eats, twelve, twelve. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be huge. And let's make sure to use the the gold on this floor. Let's get a massive gift of gratitude. 
Also, if we take 300 coins, we can just cash out huge in the last shop. Problem is, non-boss enemies are going to get plus 8 strength, and these guys have multi-strike. Do I want to take that risk? Yes, I do. They're going to be gay they're going to be days in the top floor and we're going to just uh smack them up. Too much gold? Nah, never too much gold cuz we can always I still can remove like 20,000 train stewards. All right, we got the we got the combo already. Morsel maker top lane. Train steward here. Might as well get that. Let's see what we draw. Goodbye. Oh, I can't kill a lady. I can't kill a lady in the back. Oh, my gold. This guy's getting big, 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 big. Oh, they're doing too much damage. Fuck. I'm gonna do shot spike now. Do I want to give him straight through or do I want to give him attack? I'll give him attack, right? What's up, Anthony? How you doing? Let's just do shot spike now. Boom! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, he's huge already. We give him, we give him, that's it. Now we just play, we play the multi-attack. Let's go. He's huge already. We, let's turn two. Are right, you want to do gift of gratitude right now? Oh, they're already dead, boys. They're already dead. Let's put, let's put this energy set on this guy. Get the gratitude. Ready? 240 gold. Boom! We're rich. We can do 9 damage to this guy. Why not? 9 damage to this guy right here. And we can play something else if we wanted to. I can kill this guy. I don't want to get rid of Frenzy Swarm though. So we won't use it. The days in the top row black is really good. Especially for what I'm doing right now. Because I give my guy Trample. I give my guy Trample and I give him a... a multi-strike. Boom! Kill everybody! Let's put this guy down at the bottom here. He can stay alive. And give this guy his frostbite. Goodbye. Beautiful. Oh, this is gonna be an insane penumbra. I can play furnace tap again. Oh, let's play trample, right? Let's play trample first before we do the furnace tap. Or we can get the Ember Drain out of the way right now. Let's get Trample out of the way. I have early access. The full game's coming on 21st. There's a demo on Steam, but I have early access. Alright, Double Furnace. Oh boy. Alright, you guys, you guys ready? We're not gonna Avenger for a long time, but that's okay. We're gonna grovel, give him we're gonna give him a spell shield, give me some grovel. And uh Yeah, I'll just hold these morsels on. Well, keep on guys, I'm on ascension like low ascensions in this game, right? And I have spire experience. So I would need to get more experience in the spire first. I mean, let's see Ascension 25 in this. See how dangerous it is. Alright, the boss is coming, guys. We have so much damage. It's disgusting. Let's do Awoken Rose Spike. We draw seven, they all become cheaper. Boom. Should we just descend and kill him now? Wait, should we descend and kill him now? Fuck it, right? Boom! Hell yeah. Okay, another cave-in. Do 20 damage to every random enemy unit four times. Let's get gold. Uh, apply frozen card frozen. That's pretty good. Apply frozen to a card in your hand. That's pretty nice. Or we could just like skip this. I 
Up, buddy. Mm, you see the preserver pass, I think. What's up from Danya? How you doing? Alright, so we can duplicate a card and get some gold and upgrade our units and get trinkets or we can remove two more cards right because we want to remove maybe these doors at these points we just want to get rid of them we're building a kill lane um what would we want to duplicate if we duplicate something did we duplicate motion maker can we make space for double motion maker is that just kind of gross shroud spike Yes! Say no more! Let's take a look at the trinkets before we do this. Oh my god, quick. More trinkets get- Okay, let's get Wings Indulgence. Oh my! Oh my goodness gracious fossilized things. Gorge ability to trigger an additional time. More so units, enemies, reroll. When you play all your spells, all your third spell of your turn, all cards gain magic power for the rest of the battle. Apply days to enemy units that are moved between floors outside of ascension phase. Oh my god, apply days when an enemy unit enters your train. That's so good. But I'm going to be setting up on the top floor. Okay, then it comes three days. The problem is... Am I even using Kaven at this point? Cut cost of coals is nice, except... I could just purge trash cards. Because here's the thing. I mean, Concussion Coals, I'm going to be sitting on top floor most likely. Right? Yo, thank you for the two gifted subs from Don. You appreciate it. Oh, we hit the goal. Thank you, dude. We hit the goal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can make my Morsel Maker a little bit tankier, just in case. Like, does he ever die, though? You never know. You never know. He's important. He's important for me. Alright, so at this point, Frozen Lance is not that good. And, uh... At least I can play those little units. They're actually okay. Like, I can remove... Maybe at this point, it's like, maybe one of these train stewards. And I think our deck's ready to go, boys. We're all aboard. Okay. Friendly units enter with three sap. Yes, the relics are very powerful in this game. I mean, for instance, this relic, I gotta move my dog out. One sec. makes the gorge ability to apply a second time this relic makes them dazed so these things are very powerful effects that really do a lot so we do penumbra we got more to make already oh it's gg and we got consume oh it's gg it's gg we got our combo, and now we're just gonna start doing uh, like the, the shroud spikes. There's a shroud spike right there, 16 times. Let's do it on the damage, right? Damage or health? What do you guys think is better? Damage, yeah? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, this is it, boys. This game over. He has trample too, so like, there's literally not, there's no, there's nothing. I can do damage on the boss right now because of trample. I'm doing three. What if I kill the boss before the? Wait, is my new goal to kill the boss?
before the boss even has the final wave. Although, Welcome Rose Spike is pretty good. Let's do this. Um. These things are all R0. So, wait. I've got... I've got my uh, furnace tap. 800 damage to the boss. Holy shit. Play the minor because I don't have space. Uh, I need you to come up one more time when we win. Double furnace. Ah, but we want to do shot spike. Shot spike or double furnace? Hmm. I can only do one furnace. I'm gonna I'm gonna freeze one of the furnaces. And then my shots back right now. Jesus Christ. This this is actually broken. I'm sorry, Apostle Fang is broken here. Let's let's cycle here. Come back up, come back up. Is there an extra do you have like a cheaper for killing before it's I kill it before I even is there an achievement for this? We're about to find out. You ready? GG, guys. This is the most broken one I've ever had. I got achievement. It says Sans Seraph. Oh, look at the score! Well, Glutton's insane. Glutton has a higher ceiling than anything else I've seen. And Glutton is disgusting. A what? A wisp reanimated. It reanimated. Another oh, stupid. Look at that score. Minor battles now have additional enemies. 